Hey guys, um, so I'm back. I am back. I'm back. I'm better than ever. So I'm back, and it's been a while, and you guys probably haven't realized, you maybe have, I haven't posted in two weeks, but I'm back, and that's all changing today because you're watching this video now. I told myself I should have recorded this story time like weeks ago, and I'm really mad I didn't because you guys don't know what I'm talking about. Well, you, you're gonna know what I'm talking about, but you don't know right now what I, I'm gonna be talking about. I could just... <laughs> I could just be like, oh, so you guys think about the story time about the person that tried to scam me. But I can't because I didn't make the story time. I've been lazy and I've just been lazy. That's my excuse. I've been lazy and I've been meaning to film it for like the past two weeks, but I just haven't had the time. I've had the time. I just, I just haven't done it because I'm lazy. So today I'm going to be telling you the story time that I wanted to tell you guys in the first place. But not only that, the story time extended. Cause I was gonna make two story times, but now I'm just gonna make this into one longer one because this is crazy. It was something crazy that happened to me that I didn't obviously make as I keep saying. I'm gonna get into it in a second. But it was something that I wanted to make a story time on a couple weeks ago as I just said, but I never did. But then last week something crazier happened that goes along with the story. So I'm kind of glad I didn't post the story time or I didn't make the story story. I didn't even film it yet, but I am now. So this is going with the part two that was gonna be, but it's all just one now. Three, two, one. Okay, so a couple weeks ago I tried to sell one of my old uniforms on Poshmark. Someone commented on the post of the uniform saying they were just interested, I guess. They commented something like, text this number if you want to sell the uniform immediately or we're interested in buying it. I don't know, something like that. I believed it. I didn't th think anything of it, but that was my mistake. So, oh my gosh, I just realized I dropped my ring. Okay, so this is what the person said to me. I have all the screenshots of our conversation. Basically, it was a company, I guess, and they said we have a shipping agent. And the shipping agent is going to come around town and collect, I guess, things that they bought on Poshmark off of the app, though, because they're a company and they don't buy things on the app. So here I was thinking I was going to get all my money over here, like... And here they were planning to take all my money. Yeah! So this is what happened further into the situation. The text messages prove me saying that I was selling top for I think 250 and the pants for 100, so it was 350 in total. They send me a check one to two weeks later for this much money, and I don't know why. I was like, maybe they just accidentally sent me this much money, and I'm like just gonna like try to scam them and keep it myself. But you know they were trying to scam me in this whole time, so I was wrong. Not my money, not their money either. I'll tell you why. So. I was like, mom, okay, like this person just sent me a check for, you know the amount it was, you know how much it was, do you guys know how much it was? You guys don't want to know how much this is. And the check was $1,435. I said, um, I asked for $350, this is not my check. It had my name on it, so she was like, it is your check. So I said, I'm rich! Not really, I'm just kidding. But I was really excited because I was like, okay, this is literally like a lot to put towards my car and just enough to put in my savings and stuff. And that was like more than triple the amount I asked for. So I was obviously happy and I didn't think anything of it until my mom was like, okay, let's go to the bank. Let's see what we can do with it. But so I was like, but we get there, we walk into one of these little offices. The lady sits us down and tells us like, how can I help you? I was like, okay, so I got this check and this person sent it to me for like way more than I asked for. And I was trying to sell this on this online, I guess app or whatever. A squirrel. And I don't know why they sent me this much, but is it real? Is it my money? How can I put it in my account right now? I just want to know pretty much why they sent me that much. I was like happy, but I just had a weird feeling like it shouldn't have been like that. So my mom and the lady are looking at each other and my mom goes, So you're thinking what I'm thinking it is? And she looks at her and shakes her head and I was like, what do you guys, what is it? Like, tell me what it is. I want to know what it is. So the lady basically described that it's a fake check. It's not their money. The money that they sent was someone else's money and they're sending it to me so I can deposit it into my account. They have my, um, What do they have? Oh, that's what it is. Oh, that's what it is. That's what it is. They have a way to get the money back. So like whenever I deposit, it's not their money. They don't have, okay, this is really hard to explain. This, this is just the factual part. I'm trying to get it over in like 15 seconds real quick just to tell you guys what it actually it was. So there's this thing where scammers will have somebody else's money and they'll send it to someone to try to put in their account. So once it's deposited into my account, they can, I guess, take it back out and it'll all be their money. I don't know how it works. It's stupid. It's crazy. Yeah, I know. But that's what they're planning to do. But anyways, that day before we went to the bank, I forgot to say this is it's kind of out of order now. I went to the ATM at the bank to take out at least 500 because that's as much as the bank would let me take out at once. So I took out 500 in case it really was a scam because before we went to the bank and before I knew it actually was, I was like, okay, if this person tries to take all this money back from me now, let me take 500 just to like make sure I have 
this much because I don't trust that this is real money at first because I was already sketched about it but then once this happened I was like okay yeah it really is fake like I was so disappointed because I thought that was all my money but you know it's okay it's whatever but it's not my money but then the lady tells us yeah I suggest that you put all the money back because the money that was in my account plus the money that I took out is all going to be taken back out of my account plus that would make me negative all the m money that was in the account in the first place plus all the fees and everything from being negative so that would have put me at all-time low and I'm so happy that I kind of figured it out before it was too late so here's the last thing they sent me something about contacting the FBI I'll put that on the screen too but this was literally crazy and here I was thinking the story is over it's not this was the crazier part I thought at that time but it it was not the crazier part hey guys so I'm back and it is the next day because I had to stop filming yesterday and it got dark outside. Also, if it looked like I'm dying, it's because it's like 9 a.m. and I don't wake up this early. So I'm just gonna pick up where I left off. It was last Saturday, I was sitting in the kitchen just chilling on my phone when the glass door opened like really slow and I heard it open really slow. So I was like, okay, like someone's just opening the door slow. That was my first thing I sketched about. Hey y'all, so I just grabbed my camera and decided to film this because I heard a knock at my door and there's no car here. So I don't know what's happening right now. I am kind of spooked and I can't see if anyone's still there or who it is, but here's the reason why I'm kind of spooked. So I've been meaning to post this one story time about this time that I got scammed, but I haven't been able to do that for you guys yet because I'm lazy. So the past few weeks, I've kind of been on the lookout for this person that tried to scam me a while back. They got my address. I gave it to them. Yes, I was stupid and I don't know why I did, but I did. So hope they don't come shoot me. Just kidding, no, I'm actually kind of scared, not gonna lie. My skin looks so gross on the camera right now. My skin was the least of my worries right now. I am home alone right now also, so that's another thing that's very scary. I'm sort of just looking out this window to see if anyone's gonna walk by or be out there. I'm ready to call the police. And I really just hope it was the male person that dropped off the package because I don't wanna die today. Or maybe I do, let's go find out. I am just kidding, that was not funny. As real as the story time is, I'm looking back editing this, like, seeing how you guys can think I'm lying. You can believe me if you want, you don't have to believe me if you don't want. This is 100% true, but I really don't look that scared, and as many jokes as I was making, I actually was really scared. I'm getting scared, so I'm gonna go check the other window. It's not my stepdad, it's not my mom. I don't know who it is. So, I hear a knock that's like... And I'm like, okay, no, no one knocks like that. Who's, who is gonna knock like that so I look out the window and there's no car here and I'm like okay this is kind of creepy so I text my mom and I'm like okay there's no car here and someone's knocking on the front door like and I'm home alone what do I do so I went to my room I just stayed there for an hour and I was like okay I don't think anyone's here I went to the front door I checked the back I checked the side where like they actually knocked on and I didn't see anybody I didn't see any car I didn't see anything so I was like okay I guess no one's here but I am very glad I did not open the front door I looked through a window that I could see towards the front porch kind of and I'm glad I did because later do I find out there is still someone out there. So about an hour goes by and I'm thinking everything's okay. So I go to the kitchen to get food and here I am looking through the fridge, just chilling, doing my thing. Well, I look to my side and see someone standing in the window. Um, this is what I did. I'll insert the remake right here. I sprint into my room, I locked my door, I shut my windows and everything like that you could see in my room. I was freaking out. I literally don't have any footage from it actually happening because I didn't think to like grab my camera and record someone standing outside my window. I need to think like a YouTuber more often, but I didn't. I thought of it when the cops were leaving my house, but I'll get to that part in a second. I was just such in shock, like I didn't know what to do and I was genuinely so scared, like I was myself. But yeah, so I got to my room and I'm here still. Just kidding, they're gone, it's not still happening. But yeah, I got to my room, I told my mom, we both called the cops, she was on the way home at the same time as the cops were on the way here. Okay guys, we're literally outside right now and I called the police, my mom is on the way too, and the police, I think they're on the way now, so. I'm just updating you guys in case I do die, but I am terrified right now and I'm gonna update you in a second. They both got here at the same time, the man was still outside and it was who I thought it was. Who did I tell you guys it was? Who did I tell you it was? It was the scammer and it was him. It was him, and I told you guys, and I was right, and I was right, and I was right, I'm always right. But yeah, he tried to tell the cops that he was here to mow the lawn, and he had no lawnmower, and we didn't even know who he was, so I don't know why he said that. And we caught him lying, he had a warrant for his arrest, he did some other illegal stuff, I don't even know. It was some crazy but this video is also for people that are trying to sell things online, just be careful and be safe with what you're using, because people will do anything to get your personal information and to take advantage of you, and just be safe when you're trying to sell things and make sure it's a good way before you actually move forward and send them information like I did, and I was stupid, but everything's okay, and that is my story time. So I guess the moral of the story is, don't mess with me. Don't do it. Don't mess with me. You don't want to do it? You don't want to. You don't. Because you'll go to jail. And you'll stay in jail. So don't mess with me, just warning you now.
that's it for today's video. Please go follow me on Instagram if you're not already because if you're not, you are fake. And I plan to be back at Cheer within the next couple videos, like I said in my last video, but I'm still in the process of going back. Sorry guys, it's me editing this video on the same day. And I just realized I've said that, I feel like my past like two or three videos, maybe that's just me, I don't know. But I promise, I'm coming back. I promise, I'm coming back. It's coming, soon. Just wait on it, it's coming. It's coming. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment anything you want, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the video next week. Bye!